Stop humming that song. I can hum if I want to. No, I know you can. I'm asking you to stop. Well, if you're asking, then I'll stop. Thank you. Stop humming that song. I can hum if I want to. No, I know you can. I'm asking you to stop. Well, if you're asking, then I'll stop. Thank you. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that really amazing? So that, what you just seen here, it's no other than Grease Pencil, but after a refactor, actually. This was possible before, but there are many new features that are coming up in a complete rewrite of the way uh, Grease Pencil is drawn and the tools behind it to allow for more, uh, for better performance, for uh, faster playback scrubbing to make the overall experience a lot better. So if you go to code.blender.org, you're going to find a blog post wrote by Antonio Vasquez, the main developer of Grease Pencil. And you're going to see here, uh, I'm going to go through it. You can go and read it a bit more like step by step because it's really, really fascinating when they pulled up, pulled out because the uh, Clement Foucault, the developer or Eevee, of Eevee, team up with the Grease Pencil team to um, improve basically every aspect of it. You're going to see the uh, draw engine refactor, for example, which is the, the thing that draws the Grease Pencil on the viewport together with the overlay system, with uh, any other part of, of Blender itself. So previously, the old uh, draw engine wasn't really designed to draw like 2D objects because it, it was Grease Pencil was just basically an annotation tool. So thanks to this refactor now, Grease Pencil becomes, again, a first-class citizen and uh, it can even respond to lights. You can see here that um, the, um, the, the lighting in the scene, in the object, like the, your lights, they also affect the Grease Pencil objects. Not only that, but the way the the color management, for example, is handled in, in Blender now also affects Grease Pencil objects together with anti-aliasing uh, problems that have been solved. Mac OS are also uh, issues with Grease Pencil that should be no longer an issue. Then blend modes, color mixing, and uh, mixing, basically the whole mixing 2D with 3D. It's just crazy, but not only that. It's not only about improving the, uh, the, just the, the performance itself and the blending of uh, Grease Pencil with the objects in the viewport, but also a mask system. There is a new mask system. The way uh, it worked before, it was a bit limiting. It was only, it would always mask whatever was underneath in the layers below. Now you can actually combine the masks, so it's a lot more, uh, a lot more flexible. And the um, issues, the, the anti-aliasing and the weird yeah, artifacts that they should no longer be an issue anymore. Effects, the lighting effects, for example, the lighting, the lighting effect is it's now replaced by actual lights in the in the scene. But the other effects have been improved for performance. So blur should be much faster. Pretty much everything, uh, every um, effect got rewritten from scratch to allow for more performance. So yeah, performance is like the word of this uh, refactor, I think. But it wouldn't be a refactor without a new feature. So you know Vertex Paint in the meshes where you can just paint colors and, uh, and textures on top of your uh, object depending on how dense the geometry is? Well, now you can also do that in Grease Pencil. So up until now, you have to, if you want like a lot of colors in your scene, you will have to um, have materials. It will be like for strokes, one, uh, <laughs> color per stroke, very limiting. That's no longer the case. Now you can basically just um, like just color, use any color you want. It's it's crazy. Like the amount of freedom you get with this with this improvement is huge. So with the uh, <laughs> lot of colors, you know you have to organize them somehow. So the palette also have been improved. The um, improvements go from making them easier to use with a better UI, but also uh, tools such as uh, extract palette from an image. So you have an image that you like the colors and you can extract the palette from it. You can also import from Krita, GIMP, or even Photoshop. Uh, convert materials to vertex colors just so you can 
you know, work around the, if you were used to using materials, but you think it's a better workflow, which I think it is, to use vertex colors instead, because it feels a bit more natural, more like a 2D software would do. Uh, you can also convert those. So super, super nice. But this, this is insane. Let, let's, let's go full screen because this is just crazy. Look at, look at the comparison between, um, between the old on the left in 2.82 and the new one on the right. FPS has been, it's hard to measure how much, how bigger, how, how much faster it is. It's, uh, it's just a lot faster, depending on your scene, of course, but the complex scenes shouldn't be an issue anymore for Gris Pencil. So yeah, scrubbing also when you're animating, scrubbing back and forth also should be uh, much faster. The first time you hit the, like a uh, playback, you, you first um, playback your scene also should be faster. Me memory management, you name it, anything. Then faster drawing of strokes. Yes, this is when uh, in on Windows, especially when you were drawing super fast, that would lead to you know some artifacts, some like uh, rough corners. No longer the case. That has been improved thanks to new shaders and the narrow strokes, the or more like hard edges. When you have edges that are a bit too, you know, pointy, to acute angles, now they are also having solved thanks to new shaders. So it's like all over the place. Then um, sculpt and weight paint tools become brushes. So this is mainly is just like a cleaning up the the whole system um, when. Grease Pencil was added like in 2.4, like really back in the days. The, the tools that were added, it was an annotation tool. So yeah, you could sculpt, for example, and weight paint in Grease Pencil, but it wasn't really made for that. It was, it was just like a hack on top of a hack of a hack of a hack. And no longer the case. This has been completely rewritten. So here you're going to see, you're going to read more about it. And it, basically now there are real brushes that you can append or link, just like you can do um, with um, regular brushes in Blender. So what happens to your old files, your old Gris Pencil files? Well, they should work mostly, but there are a few things that you might have to um, look like manually fix. For example, um, light objects, um, sorry, the light effect modifier. You have to now um, make your lights, the, the lights yourself, make some little adjustments. But I think it's really worth it to go through that or just start a new with the Blender 2.83 for new Grease Pencil projects. Because it really, it's, if, if your scene was simple, maybe you, you wouldn't notice the difference. But if, uh, if your scene is complex, it's just better to start um, over or just run and see what's missing, what's not. Maybe it just even looks better out of the box because of all the new uh, fixes in the draw engine. But yeah, the team had to go through the through the question, shall we keep the old hacks around or just, you know, the, the spring cleaning and just start uh, fresh. And uh, actually, they I think they did the right choice. Start fresh and, and lay a good foundation for the future. So yeah, this is a patch is not currently as of today on master yet on the on the actual master branch, but it's a patch. It's a <laughs> it's a big patch and the um, developers basically have to go through all of the changes and it's it's really hard to to review something like that because uh, look look at the ch list of changes is huge. It's a refactor. So it might take a few days or a week and until that is um uh, in, available for everyone in the master branch. You can try the patch, but I will just wait a few days and then we can talk about it even on Blender today. So yes, amazing, amazing improvements. Go read the, the blog post because he has all the right information, all the details. I missed a few points, but the the big thing here is the uh, to thanks, to thank the community for the, all the, the hard work, the um, the developers have been doing all over Blender, not only on the Gris Pencil team, but especially in the Gris Pencil team. So um, here you see like the, the Gris Pencil team, Daniel Martinez Lara, Matias Mendiola, um, they have been working as um, artists giving feedback to Antonio, who is the main developer working on, on this. Um, Clement Foucault is the developer of Eevee. He took over the, the complete draw engine refactor and it's, it's insane. <laughs> 
the amount of work that went there. But it's a good foundation for the future. And all the tools, all the new, like the palette and every, pretty much everything else in Grease Pencil is coded by Antonio Vasquez. So he actually wrote this article, so he doesn't say, think myself, but I think we own him a huge, huge thanks for, for, for really pushing the limits of what Blender can do in 2D, 3D, 5D, who, you name it. So thank you, Antonio, for taking the time for, the, for, for working on this and, and giving the tools to the, um, to the artist to do crazy things, such as the last splash screen in Blender 2.82 or all the artwork that you can see here. There's also here some credits on this insane. Let, let's, let's look at it again. Let's look, I, I, lo I love the part here. So yeah, crazy, crazy times we are living in. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll talk to you again in the next uh, video. Bye-bye.